Hello once again and we're going to have a game of Cliffhanger for the Commodore 64. This is a game request by Mark Hope in the Facebook group Commodore 64 1 to 8. And I've had a test run of this, uh, I had to because I had no idea how to play it and I don't really know how to play it now. <laughs> right, so we're going to select the joystick and we have to use it to enter our name in the shitty fucking hard, hard, hard arcade style that I really fucking hate. Um, why can't we just type the fucking name and it'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? No, we got to use the arcade style because it's more convenient for you. What it ain't, because there's a keyboard there, as I said before. No, nah, I don't think like that. These game manufacturers or game programmers, oh, use the arcade style. All right, we've done that, we've covered that enough. Come on, it's a little bit unresponsive. Any more applicants? No. So let's get on with the game, shall we? <laughs> as you're going to see, it reminds me a little bit of the cartoon Road Runner. As you know, a little bit, as you can see the graphics and the reasoning why. So here we are. We're on top of the cliff here, and you see. Oh, I fucked that up straight away, didn't I? That didn't go to plan. <laughs> so you get different scenarios to do and to stop this um, what looks like a, a bandit running up and I uh, fucking fell off the cliff again what the fuck did I do that? so you've got to basically um, stop him basically so now we're on a different scenario so by the looks of it we're gonna have to I pushed him I pushed I didn't push up what the fuck's that all about I don't get it I pushed that I didn't push that direction right now we're we gonna oh we're totally balls that up <laughs> it is a difficult game it's a fucking difficult it's an interesting game oh. I mean it's a good game it's a different game oh, I've not played anything like this sort of thing um, as I say it just reminds me of Roadrunner oh, I've totally fucking done that why did I do that so early so basically you just push into it and it goes right five chances so they're all different names of the scenarios so I wonder why this is called five chances um, we're about to find out if we can get this right here we go Two. Oh, I see why it's called five chances yeah okay I get it now and we had five chances and I fucked that right up didn't I maybe I should have went before Maybe I had half a chance, but I was close. It's probably the closest I've ever been. Right, let's see what we can do. So we've got to pick up that one ton, and obviously, going to use a seesaw and hopefully drop it on his head. Is it going to work? No, no, it does it like that. Of course it does. Mm, how else would it have gone otherwise? I don't know. It's, all, it's a new game to me, so I've not played this before, as you can see. Just as I said, a test run, that's it. Right, so this is five chances again. Right, let's see if we not balls it up this time, shall we? Why is there a bomb on the other side? Is that is there that for re there for a reason? What? Ah, oh, this is just fucking bollocks. Right, so this is obvious. So we're going to have to jump on that platform, the seesaw thing, and knock the rock into the air. Here we go. And I oh, fucking way too early once again. Oh, fucking hell. Surely, surely I've got to do it. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> right, what's this? Five chances again. Right, so I'll get these five chances again. I've got to fucking do this without doing something stupid. Um, right, here he comes. Maybe... Uh, now, let's go. Right, one. So yes, fucking yes, about fucking time I got it, yes. <laughs> um, as far as I can write, okay, we've got to do this again. So it's all about fucking time in this game. <laughs> so see what I mean about Roadrunner? It's like a wily coyote trying to stop Roadrunner, isn't it? Ah, oh, oh, fucking hell. That was close, that was fucking close, that was. <laughs> Oh dear, as far as I can throw you, right, oh this again, god, right, now we basically know, hopefully I can do it this time, so it's just about timing, timing it just right, 
Oh, yeah! Oh, come on! I managed to stop him, but I didn't get the bastard. Chucky Bomb. Right. Okay. Here he comes. Oh, God. Come on, hurry up. Yeah! Oh, that was close again! Close. Fucking hell. <laughs> I want to know how many fucking lives you get. This game's gone on for a while, which I'm not really complaining about because this is a good game. I quite like it actually. Um, as long as I get my timing spot on. Right, so okay. Oh, I fucked that up totally. Just though, just. Just fucked it up. Um, getting your own back. <laughs> What do we do here? Oh, it's this boomerang one again, isn't it? I can't, can't figure that out, and I can't figure why the cannon and the weights there and all. Right. Okay. Oh, what the fuck happened there? See, I went. Oh, I don't get that. I was putting the joystick towards the rock, and it just fell off. Why did it do? Why does it do that? Ah, oh, I'm too late again. God. So I think when you lose a life, when you fall off a cliff or something, when you fall off a cliff you lose a life, but if you miss, the game just carries on. I get it. What do you do here? No idea here. Ah, uh, what? I don't get that. Oh, I didn't. I spared my life, but I thought I'd fast jump onto that bed thing. What's this? Ah, hey? oh. first time I've done that, and it fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up rather. See, I don't get it. If you go too close to the cliff and it, you try and walk it, it falls off. I don't get it, I don't get that. Maybe I'm doing something wrong there. I don't know, perhaps you can't be too close to the cliff, otherwise you slip off. Anyway, I didn't mind that game, it's quite good, interesting. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching, until next time. And goodbye.